So people that are watching, if they're going to go Google you, okay. search, search for Tim Draper, one of the things that will probably come up is that you won the auction for the almost 30,000 Bitcoins from the U.S. Marshals. Yeah. So that's a lot of Bitcoins, <laughs> especially today. Um, we don't know exactly how much he won for, but it'd be around $20 million. Um, so why, like, why did you do that? What kind of compelled you to get that many? Well, there, there, are, there are two reasons. One is um, Bitcoin is set up so that there, it's now there are 13 million of them out there and eventually there will, there will be 21 million and that's pretty much it. Yep. Uh, so uh, part, of it, part of me says, hey, this is a great way to capture some value if Bitcoin becomes quite valuable. And I, I am projecting a price of $10,000 in three years. So I think that Bitcoin will be worth $10,000 in three years. And so I looked at that and I thought, great opportunity. The other piece is that if you have a large block of Bitcoin, uh, you can do some interesting um, financial uh, work and uh, much the way a bank with a lot of capital can do a lot of work. And we are working, I'm working with Varum, and with Varum, we are uh, creating new financial vehicles. And those new financial vehicles can be quite valuable uh, to society and particularly in third worlds, third world countries. Um, they, can, uh, they can make a, a big impact on society. And so I, um, I took the risk realizing that uh, it was uh, an auction, and when you win at auction, you know that you've paid more than the rest of the people bid. Right. Uh, but I knew that by capturing that, I would do two things. One is uh, we would be the center of activity for Bitcoin. Uh, people, all the entrepreneurs know that this is the place to come. And the uh, go to Draper Associates or go to Boost, they, they know that now. And uh, that, that large amount of Bitcoin can be s real stability for new kinds of financial vehicles. And uh, those are soon to be announced. It's awesome. Yeah. I mean, it's like investing in a couple of companies is one thing, but buying 30,000 Bitcoins in an auction with a lot of other people is another, I think. Um, so when, I always wondered, when, they s when the U.S. Marshals sent you these 30,000 Bitcoins. That was a great day. Which, it was like, hilarious. that would drive, like, I would be so <laughs> nervous. Because with Bitcoin, you know, you have this really, really long string of characters, which is your address. Right. Did they, you know, like, typically with, like, a bank or someone, they'll send you, like, a little, like, a dollar or something to check. Did um, they do that? It turns out they weren't able to do that uh, because of the way it was all set up. And, uh, and it was very interesting. We had to we, we ran through all the authentication cycles and we weren't really comfortable until we'd been through three or four. Uh, and the first one took a long, long time. And I'm not quite sure why that was. <laughs> and we were looking and thinking, well, wait, have, you know every hacker in the world was trying to break intercept into this it. system yeah. and intercept the Bitcoin. And, uh, and we were, uh, so we were very nervous about it, but uh, the U.S. Marshal's Office was good to their word, very solid. They did a beautiful job of transferring the Bitcoin. Uh, it, was, uh, it was done in such a way that uh, we had, you know, all of the best people in the world in the room making sure that this transfer right. happened. And, uh, and it, it worked out fine. But one of the people in the world I had in there was, uh, was my partner's son, uh, Leif Jurvetson who has been a Bitcoin user forever and he, or Bitcoin buyer forever, and he, he came to the conclusion that Bitcoin price could never go down. Well, he, he realized that there was a limited supply and, right. would, and he was, he's now 13 years old, I think. Anyway, we had him in there as one of our Bitcoin experts and we also <laughs> had uh, some good security, Bitcoin security people, but I was very happy to do this thing and I was, um, it was an, a very exciting day watching that happen. But there was a good half hour before the first authentication came in. <laughs> and normally that's uh, five or 10 minutes. Right. And we weren't quite sure what was going on in the meantime.
But you're like, are we gonna get the Bitcoin? That's right. Like, is there some kid in like Milwaukee that's like, right. Mom, what? I just Mom, got like a lot of the lot internet of the money. <laughs> I can pay for college. Yeah. Now. Oh, and like everything. <laughs> right. <laughs> that would be an expensive college. That would have been an expensive. Yeah, college. that's crazy. Yeah. Um. So. Yeah, that would have been a bad day for you, but yeah, it was a good day. <laughs> it was a good day, though. Um, so, what do you where do you think Bitcoin's going? Like, you know, what what are the innovations you're seeing now? Like, you know, there's smart contracts, there's like uh, crypto equity. Like, wh what do you believe in? What do yeah, you to look um, for? one of the great things about Bitcoin is the uh, um, is that through that technology, you can also have a ledger. Uh, it's built as a ledger, and a ledger works in a lot of different ways. You can actually, um, you can have accounting without accountants. You can have contracts without lawyers. Uh, you can set up uh, for an event. Uh, so let me, let's say we have a contract and I give you some money and you give me some equity back. Uh, we set it up so that when the company, is, let's say I get half your company for a million dollars or a hundred million dollars, whatever. Okay, hundred million. Um, we set this up and you get the money and I get the equity. And then when the company is sold or it goes public or whatever, that's an event. And at that event, the money is immediately divided right. between us. Uh, it works even, it works very well for, uh, for uh, if you die and you want to spread, yeah, sorry. Uh, and you really want to spread, uh, but you want to send the money to, you know, right. all like your, your friends and your family and whoever. It, it can operate as an immediate redistribution that happens instantly. Right. Uh, so events anything with, a, with an event at a later date can be quite valuable. It, it, can be quite, it can be done in such a way that it saves many, many, many dollars and is much more honest and straightforward than our current system. So um, I love these smart contracts because they can, they can build what's called a waterfall, uh, which is really a money fall uh, for when you've made contracts, your business, and you've gone out and you've made contracts with various people, and, uh, and then when your company is sold, a certain amount goes out to the bank, and another amount goes out to uh, your employees, and then it goes out to the preferred shareholders, and then to the common shareholders. They call that a waterfall. That can all be built into a smart contract. The other thing that can be built into a smart contract is accounting. You can, um, I can sell you something. I sell you a shirt. You pay me money. Normally, what has to happen is you have to get your accountant to say, oh, okay, you, um, you've sold a shirt, so your sales go up, and you got some money, or you haven't gotten your money yet, and your accounts receivable go up, and then your cash comes in, and then your cash goes up, and your accounts receivable goes down. I similarly have to do the same thing on my end in accounting, where I have... Um, s my inventory has gone down, and my uh, so my shirts are down, and my um, my cash has gone up because you've sent me cash. Um, those two accounting events can now be done automatically on both sides because of a smart, in effect, a smart ledger. Uh, this is transformative. This is something that can make all of our lives much more, e much easier. And all of the people who did all the accounting and legal work for that, those kinds of contracts um, can live even more productive lives. And uh, some really amazing things could happen to our society. We'll end up with more scientists. We'll end up with more engineers. More people focused on creativity. On creating new great things. And we'll, we'll get off the planet sooner and we'll cure cancer sooner. And uh, uh, our, our economic growth will explode at a much faster rate. So basically, for everyone watching, Bitcoin will enable space travel. 
<laughs> Bitcoin <laughs> will improve society. Right. It'll allow us to do all these awesome things that we've always dreamed of and right. we make movies about. Awesome. Um, so I think the, the last question is if someone, you know, someone out there may be working on a smart contract company, maybe they come have visit me, Draper Associates. I'm Tim Draper. Tim at draper.vc. Come and visit. And send me a plan. Cool. Yeah. Send send Tim everything. <laughs> he he, wa he wants all the awesome Bitcoin companies, <laughs> specifically smart contracts. Or if you have something crazier, send it over to Tim. Well, thank you for letting us all in on you know all this information about Bitcoin. Um, I think that you put it in such a way that a lot of people are trying to say this, but you say it in a really inspiring way that makes Bitcoin sound like. Like you really understand that it can have a huge impact worldwide and that this could just bring society up a level. And I think that's super exciting. So yeah, I think it's going to make a big difference to all of us. But I think it is it is a major opportunity for all of us, for all of the countries of the world, for um, all the businesses of the world to really uh, have an accelerator behind us. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you for being here. Great. All right. My pleasure. Bye, guys. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs>